They're saying leanness can't be healthy as a justification, soft-handed justification, of their own not being lean. Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Anasounds Periodization, and is it true that low body fat levels are very unhealthy? Hmm, it might not be. What a weird idea. What's the setup for this? Well, every time somebody ultra lean comes around, you see pictures on the internet, someone's got to say, oh man, that can't be healthy. And a lot of even very lean folks close to bodybuilding contest time, they'll say the same thing. They'll say, yeah, not healthy, but pushing that body fat. Is that true? Is there such a thing as being too lean to be in your optimal health? And even more specifically, is there something like being so lean that your health is actively taking a, a hit? Maybe. Let's look at how it's true and look at how it's maybe not so true. Certain biomarkers like testosterone, estrogen, generally the sex hormones, certain markers of your propensity to undergo bone building and tendon recovery, they definitely take a hit when you're very, very lean. And that's definitely true. Slight downside. Okay. If you're female, you get something when you get lean enough called amenorrhea, which is lack of menses, no more period. And because that disrupts standard estrogen production, it actually leads to long-term bone loss, which is very not good. And normal estrogen is cardioprotective for females and males. So if that goes out the window, being lean for females, very lean is definitely not a good thing. And then lastly, while it might not be as true as we think to say that being lean is bad for your health, it's very true to say some parts of the dieting process to get you lean can be not so great for health. So if you take a perilous yak ride to the top of a mountain in the Himalayas, once you're standing on top of that mountain, you may be just safe as ever, as long as no meteors hit you or something. But the crazy ox cart yak ride up has killed hundreds of people before and it's incredibly risky. And the yak doesn't so much want to live. He's kind of French. He's like, yeah, what is the point of all this anyway? No. And he steps off, just killing himself and you in the process. So it's the journey that's the tough thing, not the destination. And in getting really lean, there may be a lot of truth to that. The fatigue of the hypocaloric condition of the diet, that fatigue itself of the diet to get you lean, not the leanness, is causing low sleep and low quality sleep, high stress, muscle loss, you name it. And that's not really the leanness itself that's causing most of that. It's just the training and the diet to get you there. It's the restriction. And of course, when you see professional bodybuilders on stage, they're also taking lots of drugs. And of course, the drugs are not very good for your health. So definitely they're not very well. But if you look at natural competitors, they get just as lean as the pros and or just as lean as the non-tested guys. And all of a sudden, it's like, okay, what well, are those guys as unhealthy? And the reality is, in large part, yes, they're not in great health right there, but it's because of the diet fatigue, not the leanness itself. And so there are ways, at least three, in which I think the idea that being lean is unhealthy may not hold up. The first is when you look at body fat levels and you run correlations and even in case control studies where you actually decrease someone's body fat and you monitor their health, having less body fat makes you healthier in like a hundred different ways. It improves insulin dynamics. It improves inflammation. It lowers your heart rate. It improves, improves your blood pressure and so on and so on and so on directly from the literature, lean makes you healthier, and they haven't seemed to find a bottom end to that, at least that's a dependable number. When people say, well, anything below 6% or 5%, that's bad for your health, there are no convincing studies that illustrate that. That doesn't mean it's false, but the confidence with which we claim that it's true has to be curtailed. And I personally get a ton of blood work as I get leaner. And other biomarkers, point number two, are also really good. 
not all the biomarkers are good. Testosterone, uh, estrogen, bone building things, those go south. But what about cholesterol? That improves radically the leaner you get. I haven't seen a top end in my own situation. I've been as lean as 5.9% before. Blood pressure, obviously, way improved. Fasting glucose is phenomenal. And fasting glucose is a very good predictor of health and longevity. Your glycosylated hemoglobin insulin A1C is going to be very low from prolonged bouts of being lean. That's excellent. It's anti-diabetic. It's life extending. Pretty much every metric of brain health improves. And as a matter of fact, improves from a deficit. A caloric deficit is better for your long-term brain health in dependable doses, not all the time because eventually you just get too skinny and die. But being lean seems to correspond to better brain health. And yes, some biomarkers go south, but more of them go north even when you are ultra lean. So on the net balance, in many cases, it may actually be more true to say that when you're leaner, you're healthier than when you're not as lean. And there is, there are going to be no doubt many people in the comments disagreeing. And the vast majority of the agreement, or rather the assertion I've seen about low body fats not being healthy, it, it just is resting on an, I'm sorry, forgive me, it's resting on an empty assumption. People see striated glutes and they go, that can't be healthy. And I would love to be in real life with that person instead of over social media and say, okay, no, I hear you. Why not? And usually their next move is to cynicism, to eye rolls. Like, really, dude, you're telling me that's healthy? Like, no, I'm not telling you that. But you're saying it's not healthy. I'm neutral. I could be persuaded that it's not healthy, but can you explain to me why it's not healthy? And usually they can't. And in my view, some of this kind of cynicism is just um, pointing out that something is weird and can't possibly be good. It's a reinforcement of normative values that is baseless like most such reinforcements. Like in the 1970s, they thought long hair made you satanic. But it just, you just have long hair. And sometimes you're also a Satanist. And as a proud member of Satan's church, I think, myself, I, I think Satanism is great. But long hair, not required. And so a lot of times when people say like, oh, well, like getting that lean can't be healthy, there's two things going on. One is an in-group, out-group social dynamic where you other, you, you make someone the other, the outside, the weird, the strange, that can't be good. And they used to do this to people with muscle all the time. If you were remotely more muscular than average, which is to say healthier and better at everything, back in the 50s, they thought you were strange, that that can't be healthy. You know? Back in the 60s, the average offensive lineman weighed about 225 pounds in the NFL because they thought muscle slowed you down. When you're different, even if you're better, a lot of people will just say you're worse. Sometimes they're right. You're different and you're worse. But sometimes you're better and they still have to talk that shit. And a lot of people in a more under the current reasoning, not that they're conscious of it all the time, they're saying leanness can't be healthy as a justification, soft-handed justification of their own not being lean. So where do we get all this? Where does this coalesce? Because there's some upsides, some downsides. I'll put it to you guys this way. If you're female and of reproductive age especially, Dip into low body fat, do your thing, compete, take your photos, and then dip right back out. You want to be above 15% fat in most cases if you're female and or the body fat that lets your period be normal or as normal as it ever has been. Anything below that, maybe not worth a long-term trade-off. If you are male, pay attention to your blood work. If you get to a certain level of lean, let's say 6%, and people are like, dude, that's too lean, check your blood work. If you do your blood work and your doctor's like, dude, you're unbelievable. This is the healthiest you've ever been. Please feel free to continue to be lean. Three to six months later, do your blood work again. Still awesome. Better than last time. Please feel free to continue to be lean. Some things will be up. Some things will be down. But your doctor will let you know if this is sustainable or not. And if they look at really good blood work, most doctors don't even have you lift up your shirt. And they're like, oh, there's too many striations in your abs. No, 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 no. That's not going to happen. They're like, yeah, look, it's great. You look fine. And remember, tons of gymnasts and endurance runners, they live their lives at 5 or 6% body fat for years on end, and they're not remotely unhealthy. They're some of the healthiest people in the world. 
if you need to be leaner for a long time and your blood work looks great, you're good to go. But there's another thing to be said here before I let you off free into the wind to go be lean for as long as you like. Most healthy, most lean, and most anabolic prone to growing muscle are not the same thing. And it's pretty clear from the evidence that anything for males between about 8% and as high as 20%, but for competitive bodybuilders as high as about 15% is a really great window in which to grow muscle. And anything below 8%, your body is so concerned with just replacing the fat that it's lost that it's not ideally tailored to growing muscle in most cases. So definitely wouldn't recommend staying at 6% body fat, trying not to get any fatter and growing muscle at the same time. That would be a mistake. Allow your body fat to exit that 8% range, get into about 12%. You'll build tons of great muscle through there and you can always diet that off. But if you're worried about health and you think, oh man, I'm too lean for health, get your blood work done. If your blood work looks good, you're going to be just fine. All right. Thanks for sticking around. See you guys next time.